milk comes from the store, our milk comes from dairy. How to milk? Most people think you pull down, you just squeeze into, keep squeezing, make your milk go into the bucket. Um, after we get done milking, we take the milk in the house and run it through a strainer. And, and then after that, we put it in a jar and put it in refri the refrigerator. And um, after that, there's a big layer of cream. Which you can put in your coffee. You like creamy coffee? Me too. We use our milk raw because we want to have the benefits of your good bacteria in. This bucket um, holds a quart. That bucket holds two and a half gallons. And not too long ago, we had this whole thing full and another gallon jar out here that we were pouring into. So. We got a lot of milk that day. We got, I think, I think two and a half, but uh, three and a half. But that's our record so far. This milk has helped me with asthma, all kinds of sickness, our whole entire family, and now we have been. Milking our own cows, we don't have those sicknesses anymore. And we don't have skin irritation. We use the milk for cheese and yogurts and kefir and all kinds of different things. And butter and we have made ice cream, but not very much. Do you like the ice cream? Taking the milk cows out to the babies, and the babies are gonna come eat, and the calves are doing better this way that they're eating off the mom. The three calves, we got three, or no, four calves on them, on the milk cows, there's two milk cows, and the milk cows are looking good, and the calves are looking good. This way we don't get as much cream though, but this way we're sharing with the calves. We get our milk and they get their milk. We're gonna bring them in here, and for the rest of the day, the calves are gonna be out with the cows. As you can see, here's, here come the calves. Happy to see their moms. You may see your calf though. And these calves were, or at least the red one was. The red one was, his mom didn't, didn't want to take him, take her. And didn't want to take the calf, the mom didn't. So, here, I moved the handles. But the mom didn't want to take it. it was, he was disrejected from his mom or, yeah. He just ejected, and now he is, the milk cows have a, oh, <laughs> come on, I'm letting you go. And now this way, the milk cows have taken the babies, and so yeah, we're, so, long story short, we're sharing with the calves, and the calves are getting better nutrients this way. Now I'll go in and show the calves. But I think see they're eating fine. And I'm gonna go, we're gonna go and show you how to strain our milk and how we do all that.
how we strain and put it in the fridge. And I can show you some other milks. Ooh. We can show you some milk that is in the fridge already that has a good cream line across the top. So, I'll go show you the, you know, our milk process. So, long story short, milk process. Ready? Clean jars. We've got a funnel and a strainer. We're going to be pouring the milk down through here. It's going to go out through the strainer. Strain it on going in. The strainer might get you any debris that might be in the milk. We got a little bit more than three gallons. Well, we got three gallons and another little quart that we're gonna feed the kefir grains with. So here we are putting our lids on the milk jars, and we're going we to get the little lid screwed on, and now we are labeling it. Here's a good cream line, it's about that thick. And as you can see, like, it's a different color, like it's almost bluer down here than it is up here. So here we are with all the milk cans, and we're gonna put them in a cold refrigerator. There will be a cream line, but we don't know how thick it will be, but there will be a cream line on these three gallons. And we tried to use them within the first week, but they're good up to two weeks, but it's just better to use it in the first week. But they're good for two weeks, but it's just better to use it for the first week. All of our milks are strained and clean and labeled and ready to go on the fridge. Some people think it's intimidating and mean, or the cows are mean and it's hard to milk them. But as you can see... There's like a big playful puppy dog after you get to know him and everything. See, just look at her. Look at her playing in the dirt. She looks so, she looks happy. See? is making me hungry though. Why? You want to go in and have mom make us a smoothie? Yeah. Bye. See you next time.